my name's Marie and my friend Argo and I get into all sorts of adventures on the internet, but sometimes we can run into some dangers, like a virus or the suspicious message saying that I've won a million dollars. I want to find out how it can keep us safe during these adventures, so I called the person who created it all, Mr. Vince Cerf, the founder of the internet. Hello, Mr. Cerf. How can I make sure that we remain safe on the internet? Hi, Marie. I'm Vince, and it's nice to talk to you this way. Well, there are several things you can do to be safe. The most important thing is that you should keep private information private. Remember, if you're using social media, you want to think carefully about what you share, uh, especially if it's going to be shared with the general public. Many of the services that are on the internet require you to log in. So you want to get some help to make sure that you pick passwords that will be hard for anybody else to guess. That's so helpful, Mr. Seraf. But there's so much information online. How do I tell what's true and what's not? If you're not sure uh, about something you see on the net, you might want to see if there are other sources of that same information so you get some confirmation. You can ask yourself questions about what you're seeing on the net. For example, uh, wh where did this information come from? Do I understand the source of the information? Uh, you might ask, is this information trying to get me to do something that might not be in my best interest? Uh, and if you think your way through that, you might actually be able to decide that some information is not, uh, not valid, not for you, and you should ignore it. That's super helpful. I can't wait to go on another cyberspace adventure with Argo. But before I go, may I find out what exciting things we can expect from the future of the internet? For the last 20 years or so, some of us have been working on making the internet work in outer space. So we have a working interplanetary internet that connects the Earth, the International Space Station, uh, rovers on Mars, on the surface of Mars, and orbiters that are orbiting around Mars so that eventually we'll have an interplanetary backbone that can support both robotic and manned exploration of our solar system. Wow, I'm looking forward to all of that. Thank you, Mr. Surf. I hope to see you again soon. Perhaps we'll meet up in one of my cyberspace adventures with Argo. Bye. Bye bye, thanks for joining me. What do you imagine the future of the internet will be like? As my favorite scientist Marie Curie once said, nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Don't let fear keep you from exploring. See you next time. To watch more, subscribe to our YouTube channel.